if you today go and interview all the people who are not related to budget division, not many of them would know that there is a budget press in the north block itself in the basement which can accommodate more than 200 people at one time and that during the lock-in period actually about 150 people live there constantly round the clock for uh, 10 days, nearly 10 days. Well, atmosphere is a really a warlike atmosphere as far as the budget press is concerned which is in the basement of north block and it was created basically to for because to retain maintain and retain secrecy of the budget documents and uh, it still uh, continues with the, the budget uh, press there the lock in period begins about a week or 8 days before the budget which means it should begin around the 19th or the 20th of february every year and basically the the, the all when the documents are being printed there nothing can go out of the press uh, uh, after that particular lock in period begins and a lot of time is spent uh, in the budget press. That's when you start uh, taking up the and verifying and re-verifying and firming up the uh, you know documents as such. Now the figures have been all decided and uh, fixed. All you need to do is make sure that the current, uh, correct, accurate figures go into print. There are no telephone connections. There are no mobile connections. There is no internet facility available. And you can't even talk to your families uh, for those eight or ten days when you are inside, locked in inside. Initially, we thought it was very difficult uh, thing for getting the people and say that ten days you get confined or fifteen days you get confined. But I found there was a lot of demand. People wanted to come there because you get hefty allowances, <laughs> and there's a lot of excitement. The day we, uh, you know, have our uh, team going into the budget press for lock-in. That day, we used to have a halwa ceremony, nothing religious about it. It was pure fun of making halwa and eating it. So, secrecy is actually maintained by the Intelligence Bureau, by the IB. That is uh, their duty to, to ensure that secrecy of the budget, budget document is maintained. That printing is going on. Only thing which remains towards the end is perhaps the uh, budget speech. Because budget speech is the prerogative of the finance minister. There have been instances when the budget speech has been given to the uh, press uh, only the previous night, which means that the evening of the 27th uh, of February. So it's a huge exercise in the budget press to print English and Hindi versions of the budget speech which are to be distributed. When the last word of the budget speech is read, we would throw open the doors and, you know, they would run out as if they'd been jailed for years. And although the process of printing the budget is set in stone, there are no precise rules governing how the finance minister drafts the budget speech. Finance minister might as well ask for draft from the chief economic advisor or his own advisor or maybe finance secretary, whatever. And but he edits. He that is his entire his own responsibility. I personally used to devote a lot of time to the budget speech, and I used to pour over it, uh, literally. Uh, burning the midnight oil in my office because you can't bring it home and um, uh, you know then go through every line consider the relevance of every word especially when you are saying something which was important so that uh, your intentions will not be misunderstood and um, that is the time when uh, the finance minister is really preoccupied and Finance Minister Chidambaram, it seems, is more independent than others in this exercise. We were used to the uh, Finance Ministers coming down on the, uh, you know, say two days before the budget is to be pl placed, coming, going uh, through the budget speech with all of us and putting their signatures there. But here was this man who typed out his entire budget speech on his uh, laptop and gave it to us on a pen drive, you know. But that isn't the end of the process. The finance minister along with the budget team has another set of things to do on the morning of the budget day before the speech can finally be presented in parliament. Day begins very early in the budget division that day. It ends very late, something like 2 a.m. and begins at something like 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. And then that exercise begins. Morning at 9 o'clock you go to the president and tell the president that this is the budget they are, we are going to do this. We inform him. Then from there, uh, after spending 45 minutes to one hour with the president, uh, the entire team then moves on to uh, the, uh, the parliament and the meeting of the cabinet is held in the parliament house itself. The cabinet meeting 
it is more a kind of a informing them that this is what budget we are going to. It is not that every nitty gritty is told in the cabinet, but well, all that is informed with cabinet colleagues by the prime minister. Two of the DS directors they go and uh, they carry the cabinet notes to the cabinet meeting, and uh, those uh, copies of those uh, cabinet notes are counted and uh, they are handed over and also after the meeting is over they are taken back from the members of the cabinet and through a secret corridor they, these members go to the main hall. And then the cabinet meeting is over let us say around uh, uh, 10.45 or so. Uh, your The finance minister's cabinet colleagues may have some questions to ask and then it is the duty of the prime minister to walk the finance minister to the Lok Sabha. With that speech in parliament, the finance minister caps a process that lasts nearly half a year. It is of course a process that demands absolute accuracy and complete secrecy. Yet there are voices that feel more transparency must be brought into India's budget making process. Because budget deals with uh, both direct as well as indirect taxes, there is a certain confidentiality which has always attached to budget making. I don't personally see any reason for continuing this, uh, um, uh, you know, old uh, habit. The entire secrecy that's associated with budget making should be done away with. There is no need because it is at the end of the day taxpayers' money and they have a right to participate uh, in deciding where this money will be spent and how it will come. But for now, the making of India's budget remains a massive bureaucratic effort, mostly behind closed doors and cloaked in secrecy.